Yeah, how about to have that connection? Amazing, just to get see him back out in action. You know, getting him around the team more and all the all the action back. You know, it's good to have Six back in the mix. What was the feeling like of being able to get back in front of the fans after a long spring? Um, I'd say very exciting. You know, we've been having a, a new transition, I'd say, with having new renovations of not being able to practice sometimes uh, out in our home turf besides the practice fields and kind of coming out here and sometimes in the indoor. You know, being in the indoor, we eat, sleep, and practice there every day. It's like brick walls in there. So, you know, getting fresh air out here is just amazing. How's it been kind of practicing all these different fields and just kind of getting used to each different surface? Um, well, what Coach Lightball was representing was, you know, we're going to do it through the season. So, you know, it's only going to prepare us even more for what's to come. So it's been actually really fun. Been a lot to prove this spring, so I feel like that's going to carry on in this season. What do you feel like you have to prove? You said a lot to prove this season. Um, I'll say as a team, everything. You know, it's the last go-around for a lot of dudes here, you know, so I think it means everything. And I know that's kind of a cheesy answer, but you no, know, like it's what everything, you know, you have your dreams and prayers built up to a moment like this. And, you know, it's the last time being, last big breath to where when you exhale all the way, you don't want to leave no relief. You know what I'm saying? So. How would you best describe this receiver group? Say that one more time. Dynamic, man. Dynamic from, from the ones to all the way back to the freshmen. And all playmakers all can make plays and all want to learn. And I feel like this group's been so close and grown up with each other. That's why I was talking to Israel Moses uh, a while ago, and I'm like, bro, you got to realize you was just like me my freshman year. When I say Israel Moses was just like me freshman year, long, lanky, still new to the game, just like me. That's why I was telling him was, you know, we built ourselves in this, but, you know, it's the want to, it's the, it's the work that you got to put yourself into what you want to do. Put yourself outside of these walls of football to learn the game, you know, just the ins and outs of all spectrums. That's what I was taught as a freshman being around Kwame Lasseter, Stephon Robinson, Andrew Parson, and m many more other dudes, and even dudes on the defense. You got to really love this game. You got to learn it from ins and outs. Like nowadays, I think I, I watch probably as much DB film than I as receiver film, so you just got to love the game at the end of the day. Do you, do you think top to bottom offense, defense, it's automatic for you guys to come out and compete even in a setting like this? Where yeah, you know, everyone's trying to get their moment, man. It's the heat of the moment. That's why I kept saying to a lot of dudes, it's really the heat of the moment of being where you are at that time. The way Coach Grimes breaks down our off, or not breaks down, when he starts our offense, he asks, where are we? We right here is our response. We right here in this moment, right here being where our toes at, where our eyes, and we right here, nowhere else. How much does it mean to, to you and the guys that, that you just mentioned have built this and built yourself that, that everybody is so willing to just show up and compete no matter what it is? You know? I think it's the want out of ourselves, you know what I'm saying, and our goals and our futures, not just individually but collectively as a team. I think what it builds more of it as a team is how much you want it for yourself individually to where that is only going to feed off to others, you know what I'm saying? So it's that's really it about that. It's kind of just fed, feed or be fed type of mentality, you know what I'm saying? Drink or don't drink at all. Quentin, what have you seen from Jalen this spring? Man, I mean, I see the kid every day. I live with the kid. <laughs> so um, I say inside of practice, I've seen his attention span go to even sharper things, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He may not be able to take snaps, but he's guaranteed right behind Coach Z or Coach Grimes, behind someone still going through reads, still helping the young quarterbacks too, you know what I'm saying? Like, doing everything he can in his possible power to where he's getting back fully healthy and getting back fully and back in motion. With so many big pieces coming back from mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. what's it like to be able to see the new guys get so much time tonight and be able to show up with it? Today? Capability, it's next man up mentality. You know, knock on wood, but you know, things can go wrong in a football game. You know, and things can go right too to where a point, hey, let's see what he can do. I mean, I'd say from showing all freshmen, sophomores, walk on, like everyone in our room, dude, you know, like you throw them out there, I bet you they're going to make a play. Your first spring season here, we were coming off nine wins, four wins. Do you think the guys feel more confident this spring? More confident? I'll say more hungry. 